This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help us out when you like and subscribe. If you find any uh, value in this video, please do help us out, all right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a object glow. And this is actually something that's really easy to do. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about that. So first things first, I'm gonna add in a material here. And this material, we're just gonna call this, uh, we can call this uh, glow underscore blue okay because well you can guess what it's going to do it's going to glow blue now this is actually really really easy to do so i'm just going to add in just drag out here a base color and i'm going to type in a constant and we're going to add in a constant three vector that's just three different values in this case it's our rgb which is our color value and we can just kind of add in a nice blue color here Okay, very easy and very simple stuff. Next thing what we need to do is we need to add in an emissive color here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a constant here. In this case, it's only gonna be one number. And I'm gonna jack that all the way up to 500. And this number does really need to be big. But what we also need to do is we have a white ball here. And that looks pretty good, but it's not blue. So how do we do that? Well, one thing that we need to do is we need to uh, multiply. Okay, we're going to add in a multiply here. And I'm actually going to multiply this to this, right? So just it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, and that should give you a nice blue color. Okay, let me just move that over here. And remember that lights, it's hard to get like a, 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 a blue, a dark blue light. Um, but that's not really the scope of this video. So we're just gonna go ahead and push apply. And there's a couple things that we need to do. So first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a nice simple sphere. And we might as well just add in a nice sphere here. And for the material, we're gonna type in glow. Glow blue, okay, and there you go. So if we look at this here, uh, well, believe it or not, it is actually glowing blue. So that is really good. And that's really easy. Now, of course, you can do this with pretty much any single color that you want. Okay, so you can right click and you can duplicate this, we can call this glow, and then we can call this maybe red. Okay. And just to hit the concept home, you can duplicate it again, right? And you can duplicate this again here. And then we can call this glow, red, blue, green, why not? Okay, so let's do the red color here. And all we need to do is move that over to the red color here. Now, sometimes the red color doesn't work the way you want it to, and you can switch it to this particular one. It might look a little bit better. So let's go ahead and push OK. And then you'll see that, well, it will give, well, the nice red color, right? So go ahead and push Apply. That, does, that might take a little bit more time than you would expect, but nevertheless, it does indeed work, okay? So we got red, and then lastly, let's add in our green color, and I think that's probably a good green color. So there we go. Working with colors is always a little bit tricky, but it does work, so let's go ahead and let's add that out here. And we have, and what we can do is we can push the Alt key and the Alt key again, to just copy those over and watch what happens when you type in glow. You can get all of your colors that you want. And then we can also have glow red. Okay. And then as you can see, if we kind of move these around in a triangle fashion, right? You can see that we have our red color, our green color, and our blue color. And by the way, you can do this to any single object that you want. So if I wanted to make this whole wall glow red, we can do that here, right? But looks a little bit different. And yes, I think it's just still compiling. So nevertheless, there you go. That is exactly uh, how you add in glowing objects to Unreal.
See you in the next video.